Good morning. Don't be following me. Mm -hmm. Don't follow me. Yep, they follow me. Good morning, y'all. Today is a sad day. A very busy day. A very bittersweet type of day. Ain't that right, babe? That's right. As you'll probably know, we are officially, hopefully, not hopefully, I don't know. I'm still kind of tired, y'all. My kid's going crazy. We are officially getting rid of Upper Baby 2020 V2 Vista. It's a very sad day. I don't want to see it go, but I think it served the purpose that it was supposed to serve for us. Unfortunately, the panorama messed us up and we couldn't really use our stroller like that. So now the kids are big. If you don't know and you're new to the channel or it's just been a while, the girls are in the 90th percentiles when it comes to their size. And V2 is supposed to go up to a four year old. I can possibly see that with the big seat, but not with the small seat or the bottom seat. Let me show you the stroller. We have somebody coming in about an hour to come pick it up. So if everything goes all right, we're gonna sell it. And our goal is to get the wonderful W4 2.0. There's nothing wrong with the stroller. I absolutely love the stroller. It just, I don't know if it serves the purpose that we need it to serve at this point. By the time you see this video, you probably know that we are, oh, you okay, baby? We have park passes to Bush Gardens, Adventure Island, Aquatica, and SeaWorld. So we have Disney passes and going in something like this is fine, but it's not as practical when it comes to like going to parks. Now, when it comes to Disney, you can't take anything like a, like a wonderful or anything like a stroller wagon, which is fine. We're just going to take our double side by side. So anywho, this is our baby. I love this thing. The biggest reason why we ended up getting this stroller is because when I got my new car at the time, we needed a double stroller that can fit inside the car. And this was the only stroller that fit inside of my car being that it can break down so much. One thing I think they don't even advertise is that you can take off the wheels. You can like pop off all, both the seats. You can pop off all these adapters and really just condense it down on top of each other. So that's the reason why we got the stroller. The stroller absolutely amazing. I know a lot of people love to talk about this being useless, but let me tell you, okay, I love this thing. More so when it came to restaurants. So if you have a newborn baby, you'll see a lot of times like people will take their car seat out the car with their newborn babies or infant babies and put them inside of that little sling. I'll try to pop a picture up here. But they'll put the car seat on top of a sling and then have the baby sitting in the car seat. But one thing you don't realize, especially as a new parent, the baby can't be in the car seat too, too long because they overheat. I had a harsh reality with that when I first brought my baby home and we was going to a lactation specialist and we was in the car with AC for about 45 minutes and she was like burning up. Anyway, I was saying that to basically say this. When it comes to this, what we used to do is we'll get a booth. One side booth, one side table if you have two kids. If you don't have two kids, don't worry about it. But if you just have at least a booth for this, you can take your baby out the car seat. Under here, there is a mesh thing. And you drop this down and it's, oh, it was already open, sorry. This is a mesh thing. So I used to open this put my baby in this put this up I call this the hater blocker because this is prevent people from actually looking and going inside and then also with this this kind of leads over so I kind of used to have this open put this inside of a booth and just have her laying. I don't have to worry about her overheating. I don't have to worry about how I'm gonna feed her. And it was just me and David, we had her. I changed her inside of here. 
I would change her inside of here. I would uh, feed her inside of here. Everything inside of this. Inside the booth. And no worries. I was covered up. And every time I used to change her. So nobody would see. I would just bring out this thing. And kind of like work under it. Obviously you can unzip this. So I always did. But this was my way of keeping her warm. And then I would change everything here. And it was like a little bed. And I would throw a little sound machine inside of there and it was great let me tell you the best thing so the reason why i said if you had two kids that you would do um sorry i'm running out of breath the reason why i said with two kids you would do one side chair because sometimes especially during the pandemic we didn't really like using the high chair thing and at the time uh no i mean nala didn't really know how to sit up too too great i don't know we just wasn't digging it so we used to just back this in uh back this up and pull it up to the table and we actually used to just feed her in here versus on the table i don't know about y'all but to this day i do it but i hate feeding them at their tables because you just don't know how clean they are even when i wipe it i don't feel great about it and I had tried to do the little placemat things. And the placemat things just, they figure out how to pick them up. They toss them. Food goes everywhere. So I personally love to feed my babies in the stroller. So one thing I did realize, and I want to tell you guys, because I realized way after this video that you can actually do this. But in the large tumbler seat, you can actually put that as well inside of a booth. So if you got a two booth situation you can actually put the bassinet on one side and if you angle it just right by using the foot pedestals if you just angle it just right and prop them up against the back of the booth they can actually eat inside of that and use the tray to eat out of it so you don't even have to bring the whole stroller just bring the actual seat no extensions none of that and the bassinet and have one kid on one side and one kid on the other that is a wonderful thing i don't do it all the time because it's not realistic i always haul a stroller but i used to love this so don't bring this inside of a restaurant you turn this chair outward you also flip this tenders outward and then you take this whole stroller and because of the height and the slantedness, this part is able to go under the table and get you extremely close to height level at, at a restaurant table. So we'll have that, especially at Chili's was a great place for this. Pull it up one side, everything was totally fine. And then have me and the baby in the booth with this bassinet. And it was great, let me tell you. Most of this part, will end up under the table mind you the feet move so if you need to have this down more you can but basically you can just roll this up like this and it's like a little table but yeah anyway there's nothing wrong with the stroller it's just we think having a wonderful where we can just plop them in you hear how active they are they love to run and play and stuff like that and being strapped down with how big they are, it's kind of like, really enough. Be careful, baby. So now it's time to finish packing this stuff up. You got to put it in the car because the person is kind of here, but we have to meet them. So this is what it's looking like. I absolutely think it's the most beautiful stroller ever. And these are some of the best part. And really, they're getting a deal. Let me tell you, if I would have had this deal when we were looking for it, it would have been snatched, okay? We're selling it for $8.50. That's roughly the price of the wonderful. So, yeah, it should be fine. We officially sold it. We officially smelled it. My See, and that's what I'm talking about because 
that lady drove two and a half hours to come over here. You drive for what you want. And we just willingly drove the extra 20 minutes, which was fine. I was willing to meet her halfway to get it out the door. But you drive for what you want. Yeah. So. And you pay full price. Yeah, you pay full <laughs> price, exactly. So. She didn't try to haggle. Say she it. did try to haggle, but. She did try to haggle. Well, she asked me if there was wiggle room. I said no. She said, okay. Oh, you already here. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> no, she said it before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Our baby is officially sold. About to get a new baby. So we officially gonna get them wonderful. I think David Loki is getting excited about it. A little bit. I think it's like, all right, now we can purchase. Yeah. If our kids wasn't so big and active, I would have kept it. But Nala is already the size of a three-year-old. And Noel is the size of a two-year-old. And it's supposed to cap out at like four years old. And on top of that, our babies are very solid. But one seat is what? 30 pounds and the other one's 50 pounds or something? Yeah. I think it's like, no, I think one seat is 75 pounds and one is 35. And I think Noelle is already 30 pounds already. And she's only one. And then Nala is over 40 pounds. So that is kind of like the rate of that now. I've been doing research for the last few weeks on the Wonderful, not knowing that they were actually dropping a new Wonderful at the time, which is amazing timing. So uh, we found another website that is selling the Wonderful W2 on Piccolino's website. So we're getting the W4. Oh, sorry, the W4 or 2.0. 2.0. Yeah, there you go. So we're gonna get that. Oh, did y'all know Contour Strollers came out with a stroller that is similar to the Bugaboo stroller? Did y'all see that? That would have been my next stroller. They came out with a whole one that's a dupe of the Bugaboo. This would have been the stroller I would have got. Look at this. Look at this. Can it lay back? And it's only $8.99 and it come with all this stuff. One. Look, one. could have had two small babies at one time. Two twins. No, they didn't. They totally 100% duped them. Just like everything else. Yeah, I will continue to research this because obviously if we want it, we gotta buy it fast because the shipping dates are crazy. But the only good thing about ordering it from Wonderful, I actually found somebody who has a coupon with some off. All right, any coupon is good. Yeah, but yeah, we officially sold the stroller. My heart is a little bit hurt, but I am excited for getting a Wonderful because I think that's just a better situation for us. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and head out and do this research and try to hurry up and order something before we, we don't have one this year. So we'll see y'all at the house. We are back in the car right now because we actually are going out of town. So the update is we did end up buying the wonderful, the charcoal gray W4 2.0. That's the one we bought. So we end up deciding to buy it from wonderful itself because we use code HeyFam from some YouTube channel, HeyFam, I think that's their name. And it just ended up working out that they ended up giving me like $80 off. So the 2.0 is like $800 and it gave me all the way down to like $719. I ended up getting the snack tray and that was like $45. And then I got the parent console off a different site and that was $40. So in total we spent $810 for everything which is good got everything that we needed and we sold the stroller for $850 so yeah right now we are on our way out of town but before we do that I wanted to unbox this to see how it goes so I have this little like car mirror thing I don't know I've seen it on someone else's page and I was like I need that in my life because this could be a good alternative while I am trying to let Noel which is right here this is the product here and let's just I'm gonna walk through it and then we'll see how it actually what it's supposed to do also it's like a headrest thing 
So this is like a good alternative, I think. It's too, too soon to tell, cause whatever. But this is a good alternative for the mirror, cause if you see the car mirror thing, it just be moving all the way around. It just be doing a lot. So this is actually a camera. If you look at this little thing, instead of having the mirror, you have this, which is a little like cam thing that's supposed to attach to the headrest. And as you guys know, well, if you have kids, that when you put the tablet on the headrest or a mirror, they kick it and turn it and all kinds of stuff. And that just, it just doesn't work out. So I'm hoping that this does so that we can use both. I'm able to see her as well as um, give her a tablet and for her to use. So we'll just see, we'll see how it goes. Okay. It's pieced together. So this actually has an on and off button. Yeah, when it comes to this part, it has no instructions. Why well, I got a little zip ties? It's supposed to zip tie to something? I don't know, but let me show you the gist of it. So what's supposed to happen is you have this little camera and then this little box meter. So you push this and yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Y'all see? And it's supposed to be like a little, and then the good, can you see me? I don't know. Let me turn it around and y'all can see. 